Hey y'all. Good afternoon, I should say. May sound like I got a slow start to my day, but I didn't. Got up early this morning. Uh, I wouldn't help my wife's boy take a pot belly, but not a pot belly stove. But a wood burning stove out of his house. He's getting gas put in. Makes him happy. Uh, and the best part of that deal is I've got a really cheap stove in the back of my truck. I don't really want that stove, but I do want the doors. Because at some point, uh, I'm going to be building stoves. I'm going to do, uh, well, when I build my little house we're going to live in for a while, uh, I'm going to do a rocket mass heater in there and probably just use a J tube. If you don't know what that is, pretty cool stuff for wood heat. Uh, and then I plan to build one later and do a batch box, and I want the doors. So now I've got doors for a batch box. Have to make it all fit, probably have to do some welding, but what the heck. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm doing, uh, I know I've said I'm going to get chickens. I'm getting, well, I've got a hatch date uh, of the 17th of next month, September, and I will be getting chicks, and I need a brood box. So today I'm going to work on a brood box, all the stuff that goes with that. I uh, looked up several people's plans, got some ideas on what I want to do, but that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to make it out of a nice big tote. Price was right on the tote, it was free, and get that going. Start by cutting a hole in the lid, covering it up with uh, uh, one inch mesh, well I ain't really mesh, chicken wire, one inch <coughs> square chicken wire, and then I'm going to make some things to set my feeder and my waterer on. But that's what I'm going to do today, so y'all get to watch. Okay, well, uh, I started looking for nuts and bolts to put stuff together, and uh, glad I didn't film that. It's 45 minutes later, and I have found them. The disadvantages of living in two places and having stuff packed and other stuff unpacked and stuff stuck in boxes, and uh, it's a nightmare. But I finally got stuff together, and we shall now continue.
Okay, well, I'm done. You know, the other day y'all saw me build uh, this. It's just a big cage so that when I set chicks outside, they've got a cage to run around in. This is my brood box. It's where they go uh, when I first get them. Uh, this will have um, ah, pine shavings in it. Chicks go in there. It's where they live. Uh, I've got the light to hang over the top. I've got the pine shavings. I've got the, uh, I don't know, chick feed. It's a particular thing. But uh, I've got that. I think I've got everything I need. So I built this. Got a cage to keep the cats out, keep the chickens in. When it's outside and they're running around in a cage, open that up. They can go in and out and be safe. And with that cage, I will probably just put a tarp over it, but it will remain covered. And that way they can get out and run around on the grass and be chickens. I want them to be chickens. <coughs> I also put these two things together. I got two of this. Right, what that's for, that's a waterer. Uh, it'll be a quart jar, not a pint jar. Sits there, stick a plate on top of that. All the poop goes down through there <coughs> into the pine shavings. Put, like I said, put a plate on top of that upside down. The plate upside down keeps the chickens from pooping in the water. Do the same thing. I've got your basic chick feeder. All right, sits there. Both of those, it'd be kind of crowded, but both of those will fit inside the box on top of the pine shavings. And it's just a sanitary thing, keeps things clean. That's where they'll probably spend their first three weeks of life. Uh, after that, hopefully I can get them down to my farm. Uh, I've got a chicken tractor down there and I have ordered a poultry net, 164 foot electric net with the battery and all that. Got that from Premier One. Uh, and hopefully I'm ready to go. I should have everything I need to get these chicks started, get everything going, get them into chickens, and keep it up. My biggest problem is going to be when I've got chickens down at the farm and I'm still living in this house. I'm going to have to get up every morning and drive 13 miles which doesn't sound like much, but it's 25, 30 minutes at 13 miles um, and get those chicks. But anyway, that's what we've done today. Uh, I was going to cut bolts off a, a wood stove, but I didn't get that far. I'm going to give it up, make videos. I may go out and eat dinner. My wife's run off, so I might go out and eat dinner. But anyway, remember, I'm Mark. I'm just an old Kentucky homesteader. If you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell, get notifications. And in the meantime, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day.